It's been a while since we've seen this much snow sort of widespread. Been. Widespread, like this, yeah. Right? Everybody got some snow in the last 24 yeah. hours in places where you're all stomping grounds at Puyallup. I it's know. Some weather yeah. service reports of 10, 12, 14, 14 inches so deep down, down there. Where Drew was as well. And, uh, yeah, that, that area really got hit partly and down around Olympia because it snowed pretty much all yesterday and mm -hmm. last night. So they got a head start on us mm -hmm. around Puget Sound. The good news is the bulk of the snow was down. Okay. So we're there still seeing some snow showers around, but really not all that bad at this point. We've got uh, just scattered light snow. We might pick up another inch or two of wet snow during the morning, but it's going to be wet snow, so that's mm -hmm. good. Look at the Doppler radar right now. You can see we do have that snow coming down primarily south and east. If we uh, get over here and take a look at this, south and east of uh, the I-5 corridor, so seeing a little bit of a break, but you can see as we get up into this area here, seeing that little band continuing there, a little bit of convergence in there, so that's the area we're most likely to see a little bit of accumulation here in the next couple of hours. See, it's already rain out along the coastal beaches, and we're going to see that snow level probably hover around the 500 foot level through the day, maybe five to 600 feet, so the only place you might see some minor accumulations this afternoon are going to be in the hills probably east of I-5 uh, that are above about 500 feet. This morning, though, seeing things drying out down there around, around Olympia with just some flurries. And up to the north, we continue to see not much snow up around the northwest interior, but they have some ice up there from the freezing rain over the weekend, especially north and east of Bellingham. See there, Bonnie Lake, starting to see, well, maybe a little bit of melt. Seeing some raindrops there on the uh, camera lens, or maybe it's just melting. And Anacortes looking pretty snowy this morning as well. And just about every camera we check out looks pretty snowy this morning. Temperatures around most spots around Puget Sound mostly in the low to mid 30s. A couple spots have started to cool down a little bit, so you might worry about a little bit of ice in some of those places north of Seattle. Might even be seeing a little bit of clearing up there, at least briefly. Checking our uh, futurecast computer model we get from the University of Washington. You see, as we head towards a little later on, that uh, radar showing, the forecast radar showing, the showers primarily concentrated really from about Olympia north went on up through Everett, and that's the area where you might pick up another inch or so of uh, very wet snow. And then as we head towards this afternoon, it just starts to scatter out. We'll have a few mixed rain and snow showers. And then overnight tonight, really not looking for much. There might be a few scattered showers, but accumulations overnight will probably be less than a, a trace or less. And as we end into tomorrow, things will gradually dry out. So it'll be a much better situation. Up in the northwest interior, we're going to be looking for that chance of uh, some light snow today, less than an inch, but they're going to stay cold. So that ice they accumulate over the weekend will be sticking with them pretty much until we get uh, probably until later tomorrow or Wednesday when we really start to warm up. Everett southward we'll see those snow showers around this morning, then mixed rain and snow showers this afternoon, so things should improve. Temperatures today getting into the mid to upper 30s. For tomorrow, just the chance of a few mixed snow and rain showers in the morning. Concern for tomorrow morning is we might get down below freezing with a little bit of clearing, so we might have some ice on the roads to start Tuesday. Some clearing tomorrow afternoon, increasing rain Wednesday and warmer. Thursday and Friday showers and mild upper 40s and low 50s. 50s, decreasing shower Saturday, maybe a partly sunny day Sunday with highs over the weekend. A little more normal for this time of the year in the mid to upper 40s.